Hello, dear viewer. A little bit ago, I briefly talked about on stream the pitfalls of being a content creator and chasing the, quote, next hit, unquote. I'm not the most coherent person while streaming, especially when I'm drawing, so I wanted to expand on what I briefly touched on earlier. Roll the clip for context. But I think the thing I struggle with the most with when it comes to this creative um, job, I, I make these videos with the hope, want, and need of instant gratification. And that is not how the YouTube algorithm works. The YouTube algorithm works on two factors. The grind, making, you know, like making videos like every day, consistent content, appeasing the algorithm, and dumb luck. Like, my creativity video, the one that is almost at a thousand views at this point, that was all dumb luck. But it was such a high for me to, um, like, to hit that over, seemingly overnight. Like, I was, family was over, we were celebrating Thanksgiving. And I just checked my, randomly checked my phone and saw that I had more comments and more views on a video that I had ever made before in my life. And it was... It, it was really a, a sugar high that I was, you know, trapped in. So when I made, immediately after coming back, made my video on Thanksgiving, I hoped that it would attract the same amount of attention, but then it didn't. And then I immediately got depressed because, what, no instant gratification? Nope. Crickets. And that, that's true across the board with all content creators. They said that any time they would try to they put their heart and soul into a video that they liked, it wouldn't do well. But then when they made a, a video about something that the population and the masses liked, the video did like went multi-platinum. It truly is a pitfall of any creative type. An annoying pitfall, but an understandable no-duh kind. Of course, the appeasing video did well. The more a general audience likes something, the more views it's gonna get, thus it goes viral. The trouble is, what the audience likes changes on the daily, even hourly. So in search for the next big hit, we curse ourselves to an endless cycle of chasing trends, finding nothing works, make an off-handed BS video, accidentally strike gold, get cocky, make a video that you're passionate about, said passion doesn't hit like the previous, get depressed, back to the chase. So, what's to be done? Constantly chasing the next high isn't healthy physically and creatively, and it's not exactly good for business. Don't get it twisted. YouTube is a business. They have quotas to fill and their system runs on numbers. Therefore, they must encourage what brings them good business, i.e. views. If you want their support through your videos being recommended and your channel being monetized, you must make the numbers. On the other hand, it's called YouTube for a reason. You make it, they host it. Despite what it seems, YouTube hopes, wants, and needs people to be successful. The more people raking in views and watch hours, the more they make on ads, the more they boost channels. But like I said, they do it by the numbers, and to stay ahead of the numbers, they calculate what they think people would like to see and recommend accordingly. Which is why random channels and random videos will get recommended seemingly out of nowhere. I've received more than a few comments stating about how my vids were just dropped in the recommended box and discovering the catch drawer of Star Wars references, butterflies, and a caffeine addiction that is me. And it wasn't that my videos were anything groundbreaking. I just happened to hit the right criteria that YouTube thought a select few people would like to see. 
And this is where I would put my advice for growing an audience and gaining views. If I had any. Really. All I have is what I said earlier. Commit to the grind and dumb luck. But I know. I just said it's not exactly dumb luck. There are numbers to back it up. But they're not our numbers to calculate. In my experience, trying to figure out how the system works is just a headache you don't need to waste your time feeling. Just make the content that makes you happy and replenishes your soul.